Praise the Lord. Father, put your hand on this video and put your hand on your children that you have called out in this time of great crisis and needs. Forgive us of our sins and our transgressions. Forgive us and have your hand upon us of protection. And as these things grow, and your day of awe is upon us, bless us. Let us hear your trumpet sound at this time of Rosh Hashanah. Let us change our hearts and make them pure before you during these ten days before the books will be closed again. Father, forgive. Forgive. In the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. <clears throat> I'm going to read this verse to you. I mean this chapter in Ezekiel. I felt very strong to, to read it today as all the stuff over in Middle East is going on as all the countries are drugged in to this Jerusalem as well as the Gaza Strip and now you know it's just adding adding and we see the Pope over in Lebanon right now It is all coming down. This is what I'm going to read. Ezekiel 32. The limitation for Pharaoh. And it come to pass in the twelfth year, in the twelfth month, in the first day of the month, that the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, Take up a limitation for Pharaoh, king of Egypt. Say unto him, Thou art like a young lion of the nation. And he is. He's newly elected. And thou art a well in the sea that cometh forth with thy river, and treadest the water with thy feet, and followest thy river. Thus saith the Lord of God, I will therefore spread out my net over thee with a company of many people, and they shall bring thee up in my net. Then will I leave thee upon the land. I will cast thee forth upon the open field, and will cause all the fowls of the heaven to re remain upon thee, and I will fill the beast of the whole earth with thee. I will lay thy flesh upon the mountain and fill the valleys with thy height. I will also water with thy blood the land wherein thy swimmest. Even the mountains and the rivers shall be full of thee. And when I shall give thee out, I will cover the heaven and make the stars thereof dark. And I will cover the sun with a cloud, and the moon shall not give her light. <clears throat> And we know that this time is the dark of the moon because um, the sounding of the trumpets is in the dark of the moon. So there won't be no moon. And the smoke shall cover the sun that is going up the burning, the darkening. All the bright lights of the heaven will I make dark over thee. And let it know over thee, over this land, over there in Egypt, in Libya, and all of them. All the bright lights of the heaven will I make dark over thee, and set darkness upon the land, saith the Lord God. I will also vex the hearts of many people when I shall bring thy destruction upon the nations unto the countries which thou hast not known. 
Yea, I will make many people amazed at thee, and their kings shall be horrified horribly afraid of thee when I have breached my sword upon them and they shall tremble at every movement every man for his own life in the day of thy fall for thus saith the Lord God the sword of the king of Babylon shall come upon thee by the sword of the mighty will I cause the multitude to fall the traditions of the nations all of them and they shall spoil the plump pump of Egypt, and all the multitude thereof shall be destroyed. I will destroy also the beast thereupon from beside the great waters. Neither shall the feet of man tremble, trouble them any more, nor the hoofs of the beast trouble them. Then will I make their waters deep, and cause the rivers to run like oil, said the, saith the Lord God. When I shall make the land of Egypt desolate, and the country shall be distraught, distraught of what of that whereof it was fallen, when I shall smite all them that dwell therein, they shall then know that I am the Lord. This is the limitation wherewith thou shalt limitate her. The daughter of the nation shall limitate her. Then shall limitation for her, even for Egypt, and for all her multitude, saith the Lord God. It, shall, it came to pass also in the twelfth year, in the fifteenth day of the month, that the word of the Lord, and, and do you notice the twelfth year? Twelfth. We are in the twelfth year. In the fifteenth day of the Lord, that the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, wilt well for the mourning of Egypt cast them down even her and the daughter of thy former nation unto the neither parts of the earth whether they go down into the pit whom dost thou pass in beauty whom dost thou pass in beauty go down be thou laid with the uncircumcised thou shalt fall in the midst of them that are slain by the sword she is delivered unto the sword. Draw her and all her multitudes. The strong among the mighty shall speak to him out of the midst of hell with them that help him. They are gone down. They lie uncircumcised, slain by the sword. Asher is there. Asher also is there. And all her company has graves are about him all of them slain fallen by the sword whose graves are set in the sides of the pit her company is round about her her grave all of them slain fallen by the sword which causes terror in the land of the living there is elam and all her multitude that's e-l-a-m and all her multitude round about her grave all of them slain, fallen by the sword, which that are going down uncircumcised unto the near, neither pit, part, neither parts of the earth, which caused their terror in their land of the living. Yet have their bone borne their shame with them, they go down to the pit. They have set her a bed in the midst of the slain with all her multitude. Her graves are round about her, him, and all of them uncircumcised, slain by the sword, though they, through their terror, was caused in the land of the living, yet have they borne their shame with them that go down to the pit. He is put in the midst of them that has been slain. There is Meshach, M-E-S-H-E-C-H, -E -E and Tuba, T-U-B-A-L, and all her multitude. Her graves are round about him, all of them uncircumcised, slain by the sword, though they caused their terror in the land of the living. And they shall not live with the mighty that are fallen of the uncircumcised, which are going down to hell with their weapons of war, and they have laid their swords under their head, but the iniquity shall be upon their bones, though they were the terror of the mighty in the land of the living. 
Yea, thou shalt be broken in the midst of the uncircumcised, and shalt lie with them that are slain with the sword. There is Edom, her king, and all her princes, which with their might are laid by them that were slain by the sword. There shall lay with the uncircumcised, and with them that go down to the pit. There be the pieces of the north of there be the princes of the north, all of them, and all the Z I D O N I A N S Zadidons which are going down with the slain, with their terror that are ashamed of their might. They lay uncircumcised with them that be slain by the sword and bear their shame with them that go down to the pit. Pharaoh shall see them, and shall be comforted over all his, con confronted over all his nation, even Pharaoh and all his army, slain by the sword, saith the Lord. For I have caused my terror in the land of the living, and he shall be laid in the midst of the uncircumcised, with them that are slain with his sword, even Pharaoh and all his multitude, saith the Lord God. We see prophecies unfolding before our own eyes. We have asked for signs, begged for signs, and, and said, what will be the signs of the end days? Well, in Matthew 24, Mark 13, and um, I can't remember what the Luke one is, but anyway, it, Jesus, Yeshua himself, spoke of all these things from the time that the temple would go down in 70 right up to this point. And beyond, he spoke of them and prophesied them. And we see all of these prophecies right now before our eyes being fulfilled. Right before our eyes on the news. We are in the last days. Uh, the Feast of Trumpets are upon us beginning Sunday night. The books will be open. Many people will be judged during this time. And then the books will be closed. We are in the days of judgment. We can see it happening. And it is growing more and more. We will see the Middle East. And I've tried to tell you this before it even happened. Tina's tried to tell you this before it even happened. We put out a message on 9-11 before this happened. We had the strong feeling that something was coming and something was going to happen that was terrible. We talked about it for days and felt led to put that one video out on a 9-11. There's much crisis upon this earth right now. Prophecies are being fulfilled. We are coming to the last days of many things happening. But this I want you to know, and I still stress, many people are going to be sealed during this time of Rosh Hashanah and then and those days of awe leading up to the closing of the of the books. But there are going to be many, many, many more multitudes that will not be sealed with this special covering that's coming upon us. With all the things that you're seeing right now, you need to prepare your heart to be sealed. 
that you will be covered by his blood that when the destroying angel is passing through that we will be covered that we will be protected just as Israel was during the day of Passover that night of Passover this is our Passover Israel's Passover was when they come out of Egypt. Our Passover is right now. We are going to be sealed by the blood just as Egypt was sealed with the blood of the Lamb. We are going to have a special seal placed upon us. When the books close on Yom Kippur, believe me, there's going to be a difference. A difference. And we need to prepare our heart. And we need to prepare it now. Let me see. <clears throat> For we can't wait to the very last moments and go, Oh wow, please forgive me Lord. We must be led now to be forgiven. And We must clear up, clean all of this junk from our heart. My heart is grieved because we think that we can just go along and and do whatever we want to do. But we can't. We have to abstain from all sin. All sin. And I feel impressed on reading 1 Thessalonians chapter 5. But the time and the seasons, brother, ye have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfect that the day of the Lord is coming as a thief in the night. For when they say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. But ye, brethren, are not in darkness, and that day should, and that day should overtake you as a thief. Ye are children of light, and the children of day, we are not of the night, nor of darkness. Therefore let us not sleep, as do others, but let us watch and be sober. For they that sleep, sleep in the night, and they that drink, are drunken in the night. But let us, who are of the day, be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love, for a helmet of hope of salvation. For God hath not appointed us to wrath, but to attain salvation by our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us that whether we wake or sleep, we should live together with him. Wherefore, comfort yourselves to together and edify one another, even as also you do. And we beseech you, brother, to know that which labor among you and are over you in the Lord and admonish you and esteem them very highly in love for their work's sake and be at peace among yourselves. Now we exhort you, brother, warn them that are unruly, comfort the feeble-minded, support the weak, be patient towards all men, see that none render evil for evil unto any man, but every follow, even follow that which is good, 
both among yourselves and to all brother men. Rejoice evermore. Pray without ceasing. In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Jesus Christ concerning you. Quench not the spirit. Despise not prophesying. Prove all things. Hold fast that which is good. Abstain from all appearance of evil. Understand this. Abstain from all appearance of evil. And the very God of peace satisfy you wholly. And I pray God, your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Faithful is he that calleth you who also will do it. It is time to prepare ourselves. It is time to prepare. For we are not children of the darkness, but the children of the light. And, yes, it, it, it breaks my heart about You know, on the news, they pretty well approved, uh, approved, I mean, and I'm taking this from the news and even a report from the White House, that this was an assault in Libya, pre-planned, pre-designed, and executed. <laughs> um, our president is not ready for the kind of war that's coming. Will our will Romney be if he gets it? I, I don't think that the government here in the United States is really ready mentally to face what is about to happen. Nor do they have the courage to face what is about to happen. And in the midst of this election, everyone seems so concerned about who gets elected or don't get elected. We are in the last days. And we cannot depend upon our government to help us out on anything. As the shofar sounds, Friday night, opening the books, prepare yourself for the Holy Seal, the Holy Seal of the Father, because He will take His holy anointing, He will dip His finger into the holy oil, and He will apply it to our head forehead and mark us for his glory and we will be sealed by him prepare prepare to receive his seal upon your life in this and only in this will you be protected because it is the covering of the blood over our hearts, sealing over our hearts, the doorpost of our hearts. And when the destroyer passes over, he will see the blood and not come upon us. This year is a very, very important year. Come out of the world come out of the system of Babylon, the man-made religions, the man-made churches, the man-made beliefs, and come wholly into Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, and be covered with His blood, for He died for us. Prepare, putting on the whole armor of God. You can read it in Ephesians putting on the whole armor of God. 
then we will be able to stand when no one else will be able to stand we will be able to stand with this seal that will be placed upon us this year be blessed keep prayed up keep anointed be filled with the Ruh Kadesh, the Holy Spirit. Father, in the name of Yeshua, I plead the blood over this video. Let those people out there wake up now in the name of Yeshua. Let those people that are called by your name right now wake up. Render their hearts to you. Humble their selves before you. And receive thy blood covenant that you have already prepared for us. And to be covered by your anointing right now in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ. Amen.